Well, hello, my dear beloveds. Hello, hello, hello. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. God bless you. Greetings in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. God bless you, my beloveds, my sisters and daughters and my sons and uh, um, my brothers in Christ, Lord Jesus. I love you guys so much with the heart of God. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Most High King, my glory carriers, my people that who are a highly anointed and appointed and appointed for such a time as this. I'm telling you, God is doing some great things in his people. He is awakening his people. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm excited about that to, um, to uh, see the manifestation of the father in the gathering of his children um, together um, in, into oneness. You know, we are what we are one body in Christ. Amen. I, I'm just so excited about that. I um, mean, I'm excited about your life. I'm excited about this 2019 um, the most uh, historical event of our lifetime that's coming up. Um, you know, I'm so excited about so many things um, that God is doing in our lives. Amen. Amen. And one of the things that I'm excited about is also for myself because um, the more I stay in the face of God, amen, the more that the Father downloads to me and the more that he say, says it's okay for me to come up here and um, impart into you. Um, it's a blessing to be able to be, uh, to, um, to, uh, you know, bless others with the things that you are learning um, through uh, um, Christ. I mean, like I said before, um, we are all in this together. Um, amen. I, I believe and I know the way the Father is dealing with me um, is it's to where um, everybody can understand. Um, amen. Sometimes, you know, when you start speaking those big words and <laughs> and, and a lot of people um, don't really understand it, not trying to say nothing funny, but, you know, I um, don't really understand. Um, but uh, the way the Father is using me is for anybody that come to this channel, they're going to get the understanding of um, what um, the word, of, what the word of God is, is trying to say. Um, and then, the, and there's nothing wrong with that. The, the, I mean, the the bottom line is, you know, long as you get it, Amen, Amen, Amen. Now I know um, that we was doing a series. I, I thought we was were um, doing a series on just um, the wisdom of Solomon, Solomon, Amen. But when the Holy Ghost takes over, you know, you sometimes you just uh, don't never know. Um, well, uh, how it's going to end. So it, it was going one way because when I, two days ago when I first put up my video, I was just thinking, okay, I'm going to do a video on, the, um, on Solomon, uh, wisdom and how important to have the wisdom of God because Solomon, um, had, had the wisdom of God. We know that Solomon, Solomon was very wealthy. That's all I thought it was going to be about. Um, and then nevertheless, you know, after today's video, well, yesterday's video, I'm sorry, amen. I realized that the father, um, um, is, is, uh, is focusing on wealth. And I'm trying to tell you, the way he works with me, I'm trying to tell you, whenever he had me focusing on something, amen, that means it's coming. Amen. That means it's coming. Okay. Amen. Okay. And by the time it comes full circle, we all will be walking in it. Now, that's how he deals with me. Now, I, I also do not speak about things that I have not experienced, but another another way I do speak out about if, if the father grants me access to see something and he tells me it's okay, uh, when I do that, like now, like I had no idea that uh, even when I'm about to speak today, uh, we're going to be focusing on wealth. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so, um, when he does this, this means that it is coming. Like it's already official. I mean, it's already, you know, um, it's a done deal. Amen. It's a done deal. So, I mean, that's how he works with me. I can't speak how he works with anybody else, but that's how he works with me. Amen. Um, and I told you, um, uh, I was, um, uh, well, I'm going to say surprise. Um, cause we are surprised when, when the father, uh, you know, when, uh, Whenever we go through this process of where, you know, that we'll get promotion in the spirit and something, and sometimes you'll say something, you'll be like, wait a minute, hold up. Now that can't that be, be me. Um, so when I first realized, uh, you know, a few days ago, he kept saying unlocker, you know, unlocker. People have been telling me this, you know, in a different terminology that, you know, that I could do this. Um, amen. Um, and I received it, but I really wasn't getting it. And then it, when the father like, no, you can unlock the doors and unlock the mysteries. Uh, you can unlock the scriptures. You can, you know, you have access to this now you know i'm giving you this key so now um the first thing is wealth um and i know like i say me personally me working with uh you know um, the lord you know for all these years amen just me and god you know and holy spirit whatever nobody else um so i know how the lord works in me i know that when he tells me something something is is is, is coming okay and 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 how coincidental which nothing is, is coincidence in in the uh spirit of god 
that we just was talking about building and being wealthy and all and all this and that and all and then now we, we are actually shifting to where uh, I'm trying to show you um, how to become wealthy in uh, in Christ okay in, in 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 the spirit of God okay and I'm telling you if you if you, if you apply wisdom daily to your life amen um, if you read the book of Proverbs I mean you will know that wisdom is the key to wealth. The wisdom of God is the key to wealth. Amen. Amen. The wisdom of God is the key to wealth. And I'm not talking about no part-time wealth or no no one one uh hit wonder uh, or even no stretch off ticket. All right. I'm talking about I'm talking about the real wealth of the land and heavens, okay? The real wealth of the heavens and that's gonna fall on the land, okay? I'm talking about the uh, the the filthy uh, rich, uh, 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 um, not only about the money, you know, you're, you're rich in Christ. Okay. First. All right. Then you, then you rich, you know, you, uh, you rich on, um, here on earth. All right. So, you know, cause we know all our, uh, riches and, and, and all that, uh, treasures are still up in heaven. That's the best place to be for the, to enjoy our wealth. But I'm speaking about, you know, you being wealthy or comfortable here, here on earth. Okay. All right. So, um, um, yeah, I'm trying to get myself together. I'm sorry, beloved. Okay, so now I'm going to be reading from um, uh, from Proverbs. We're going to move. Uh, we're going to play in uh, Proverbs uh, nine and ten. So I'm going to be flip flopping all over the place, you know, like I normally do, um, because we know that the Holy Ghost always drive this car. The Holy Ghost always drive this car. Okay, there's no nothing fake about about, about this. Okay, the Holy Ghost drive this car. I'm trying to tell you. It's, it's not me. There's no way. I know how the old me works. There's no way that I could be doing this if it wasn't by the grace of God. God is driving this car. I mean, you know, there's nothing fancy here. I mean, you know, uh, you know, uh, and anything like that. Uh, but that's okay. God is driving the you drive is driving the car, <laughs> and that's the main thing that matters. When, um, when you have the father driving the car. So now, um, and also the father changes the topic. So, but I want you to, to start, uh, for those who just uh, view this video, still start at, um, Solomon, um, the first video, we talk about Solomon, the wisdom of Solomon, amen, uh, one and two, because it's, it's going to connect to this video also as well. Okay. Um, the father just changed the name on it. So now, okay. Then, uh, the title is going to be unlocking the keys to wealth. Through the wisdom of God, unlocking the keys to wealth through the wisdom of God. Amen. 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 All right. But remember, it's going to connect the dots. I'm still going to go back, you know, and probably, you know, uh, um, um, modify and, 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 and um, rehearse the things that I have said in my previous video. Um, but yeah, so this is a month that we're in into, we're going to be in into wealth. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm trying to tell you because as you're building, you know, as you building your you know, your ministry, as you building the things that the Father has uh, promised you, and as the Father's building um, on the other side for you, uh, Amen. When that thing come full circle, y'all gonna be some wealthy people. All right, okay, okay all right. If you follow the instructions of the Lord, if you fast and pray, like I, I'm telling you too. All right, Amen. If you follow the instructions of the Lord and, and you follow the wisdom of God, you will be blessed. Okay, you will be blessed. You'll be wealthy and blessed okay all right my beloveds you know so i'm expecting you know if you do this now you know things are going to work out in your favor um amen amen are you going to be blessed but first of all keep in mind it's it is it's about jehovah i mean i don't care how, how much you the father's gonna release of your life remember what did the prophet say still remain humble up under the hand of god all right, I don't care how many, you know, much uh, merchandise I'm hearing that the Father is going to give you, uh, how many extravagant cars or houses or, uh, you know, um, uh, um, uh, money that you have. Um, amen, amen. Just know that it was God that did it, okay? All right, and being that it was God that did it, okay, we have to do what? Return all right, return uh, um, the uh, the focus and the glory. Everything goes on the Father. It's not for us. He just blessing you because you're doing it and you're doing it faithfully. Okay, all right. And the Father want to bless you. Okay, but now there's stipulations to, to being wealthy and to being blessed. Amen. The stipulation is this this this, this Bible, this Word of God. You got to follow the the Lord ways. Okay, you got to follow the Lord ways. You got to follow the Lord instructions. Okay, you got to follow the wisdom of God, cause God is the wisdom. 
All right. Amen. Amen. He is the wisdom. All right. God is everything. Amen. Amen. So now wealth is to what is wealth? Wealth is an abundance of, of, of valuable possessions, money, or prosperity. All right. So we know wealth is, is something, um, you know, in abundance. Okay. Um, of possessions, uh, money. Okay. Um, you know, that's wealth when, when, when you have more than enough. Amen. And, and the Father wants to give us more than enough. Amen. Amen. And in order to become wealthy is to have the wisdom of God. All right. That I mean, that's the only way. People that are that are that are moving in the spirit of God, that are real uh, Christians, that are that are real men, women, and men of God. I mean, the, the the key to success, the key to wealth, is learning the wisdom of God. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the, the wisdom of God is like a car. Okay, all right. That wisdom, you know, like your Holy Ghost, that that thing will just drive you where you got to go every time. You, I mean, you know, for the for the majority part, you hit the bullseye. Now, I do know that you know sometimes we'll make the wrong turn. I'm guilty. Okay, <laughs> all right. I might I, I might take a little too long in in a certain area, or either I might you know run the gas, whatever. Amen, amen. But nevertheless, you know, whenever you, nevertheless, you know, um. For the most part, we should be hitting the bullseye. So what is wisdom? Wisdom is, is an act of good judgment and making sound decisions, making valid sound decisions, uh, the quality of being wise. Okay, that's wisdom. Okay, now that's the, the, the dictionary uh, 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 commissary, uh, the definition for that. Okay, but in the Bible, it means the word of knowledge. Like right now, I'm giving you guys the word of knowledge. Okay, wisdom is the word of knowledge. Okay, so if you, if you hear somebody say, oh, that woman got a lot of wisdom in her, or, you know, uh, oh, that man got a lot of wisdom in him, uh, especially if they walk into the spirit of God, it means the word of knowledge. They got a lot of knowledge for, of God inside of them, which will grant you access to the keys of to the heaven. I mean, like I said, open doors, uh, un unlock doors. I mean, open portals in, uh, to the heavens. Uh, um, um, amen. I mean, uh, unlocking scriptures. If you faithfully, and I'm I, faithful, I should look up that word. Faithful means something that you are like uh, uh, constantly doing. You're faithfully pressing in. If you faithfully pressing in, don't get lazy on God. Faithfully pressing in, 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 into God. That will grant you so many access to the keys of heaven. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, and, and like we know things have to happen in the spirit before they can come to the natural. I'm telling you, all right. And, and, and one of the assets to becoming wealthy in the father, in, in the living God is wisdom. All right. And it, then, like I said, we can compare this to Solomon. Solomon had great, he had great wisdom. Okay. All right. He was, he was the most wealthy man uh, in, in the whole wide world. All right. People will come all over the world to come see Solomon. Think about Queen Sheba, my beautiful Queen Esther. You know, that's kind of neck and neck. Amen. Think about Queen Sheba. She, even though she wasn't a a a a, a Hebrew or, or or a Jew or Israelite, whatever. Amen. But you know her. The, she got blessed because her beliefs. She believed in this man that she heard that was the wisest man in the whole wide world. She traveled across the world for days, for days and days to see King Solomon. Amen. All right. That that's how much wisdom that this man carry. Okay. All right. Full of wisdom of God. Full of wealth. All right. Amen. You know, and I'm telling you, I, I'm not teaching about this if this thing is not going to happen. All right. God has me up here. The Father Jehovah has me up here because it's about to start manifesting and you need to be prepared in, into when you step into that season of wealth. OK, you, you need to be, be prepared. And, and, and for one thing is when you step in that season, you'll know how to spend the money. All right. You'll know how to uh, budget. OK, you know how to do your administration for your church or your ministry, you know, you know, because you're hearing what the voice of the father and the father is going to give you wisdom. You need this wisdom to be your steering wheel of your car. All right. OK, you, you need this. You need it. You need it. Somebody say, I need this. I need this wisdom. All right. Glory to be to God. All right, so um, well, well, where, where I was at, I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited here. Okay, so back up, so so wisdom is the act of a good judgment and making sound decisions, making valid sound decisions, the quality of being wise. In the Bible, it means the word of knowledge. Okay, and we know that the word is God, right? So God is the wisdom. Glory to God. All right. So now, so now, so now, if if the Bible is saying that uh, a wisdom means the word of knowledge, okay, what is God? God is the word. So therefore, uh, the the uh, 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 wisdom is God. Okay. And that's what we need. 
We need the word of God. We, we, we need this wisdom. We need this wisdom to make life decisions. We make, need, uh, uh, need this wisdom to make uh, sound, uh, 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 sound valid decisions. I mean, you know, we need this wisdom, wisdom to be wise, you know, uh, to make good, uh, sound judgments. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, my beloved, amen, amen. Um, I'm laughing about that because I had one of my... <laughs> Uh, one of my sisters in Christ, uh, they stated that that they love when I said, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, okay, I don't know what I be saying every time. I be moving the Spirit of God. So a lot of times when I say, okay, okay, it, it brings me back to my sister, uh, uh, you know, in Christ. Okay, when she told me that. All right, so, um, um, so, um, but yeah, and, 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 and one thing the Father shared me, I, I, I heard the Lord saying, the reason why most Christians are broke is because they do not use the wisdom of God. OK, the Lord told me that the reason why most Christians are broke because they do not use the wisdom of God. They go about making life decisions on, on their own when the written word is right in front of them. Amen. Me in the Bible. So the, so the Lord told me uh, 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 tonight that uh, the reason why most Christians are broke because they do not use the wisdom of God. OK. Amen. Amen. All right. They, they, we, we, you know, some of us, we, we go about, you know, uh, claiming that, you know, we are, you know, that we are, uh, in a relationship <laughs> with the father, but really not. We just religious. Amen. And, and, and then we wonder why we're struggling. We, we're struggling because we're not, we're not using God's wisdom. You know, we're not, we're not applying the word. We're not applying the word to ourselves. Okay. Amen. Amen. So, so we go out here and, and we do our own thing. All right. And, and, you know, uh, and like the Bible says in, in the book of Proverbs, it says, you know, uh, really, the Bible says in, in the book of Proverbs that these things are to what? To be written on our hearts. All right. Meaning the word. The word should be written on our hearts. OK. All right. The word should be written on our uh, bind to, uh, to our fingers and our tablets. Amen. Amen. Meaning as if that's something that never leave us. Amen. The word of God should be with us everywhere we go. The word of God is wisdom. It's the wisdom, all right? That's something that you need. You need discernment and you need wisdom, okay? In this next season, not with discernment, you could have hand in hand and wisdom, all right? Okay, all right? My beloved, amen, amen. So, you know, we, sometimes we get caught up in these, in, in these quick fixes, these, these quick scams when, when we want things now, when the Father is trying to give us greater things with longevity. Amen, amen. You know, we, 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 we get so quick into wanting things, uh, the richest right now, you know, uh, you know, we, we, we'll settle for a 5,000 uh, uh, paycheck when God is trying to give you a million dollars. <laughs> you know, you, we, you, uh, you know, we, we, we see a little bit of money, a little bit of blessing, and then we stop. God is trying to give you more than that. Five thousand dollars it, is chump change what, what, what the father is trying to give you. Amen. You need wisdom. You see that ain't even wisdom. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That ain't even wisdom, right, Holy Ghost? That ain't even wisdom. <laughs> Glory to God. Because why would you sell it for a five thousand dollar check? This got be, I mean, this is for, for somebody right here, because I keep hearing five thousand dollars. Why, why would you sell it for a five thousand dollar check when the father's trying to give you a million dollars? Amen. Why would you sell it for that? He's trying to give you so much more. Amen. Now I'm telling you, this my beloved. Okay. The father is in the business of making his new remnant, his people of God, millionaires. I'm trying to tell you, okay, millionaires. All right? Hope God will kill me. Millionaires, if I'm lying. Millionaires. But you must follow the father's ways. You must follow the father, the, uh, the, his commandments. You must apply wisdom in everything you do. You know, making life decisions. Okay, you must you must follow the voice of God. Use God's wisdom, Father God. Pray for it, Father. Give me wisdom. Grant me wisdom, Father God. You know, grant me your wisdom. Teach me to understand. Re re restructure my, my 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 mind to your mind. Amen. All right. Now, this has not got nothing to do with us getting caught up in the money. This is, this is about being blessed because God wants to bless you. This, this awakening that the father is having, I mean, you know, in the process of him doing that, he wants us to be uh, 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 um, some blessed people. Amen. 
I'm trying to tell you, he is in the business, and if you talk to any other prophets, who real ones, they'll tell you, it, he's in the business of making the new remnant millionaires. I, I mean, we wealthy people. Wealthy people. Wealthy people who have the heart of God. You want to know why he want to make us wealthy? Another reason why he want to make us wealthy because he knows that we're going to do right by the money. Amen. I can tell you right now. I'm not going to tell you specifics, but I'm there to just to kind of encourage you right here. I know that, that the plans that the Father has for me personally, when they start to trigger down like that, amen, I already know who I got to give what to and what portion. He already planned this thing out for me years ago. And he know I'm going to do it. Why? Because I love God. Okay? So, once again, we are talking about unlocking the keys to, to, to your wealth uh, through the wisdom of God. All right? Amen. Now, I'm, I'm, I might need to say that more, but y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Amen. Now, let me, let me, yeah. So, the topic is unlocking your wealth through the wisdom of God. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Holy Ghost. All right. Okay. So, now, let's start. Let's get into the word. Glory be to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, Father God, I thank you for your beautiful new remnant of a people, Father God. I thank you for, you know, gracefully gracing me to be able to uh, to teach your people of uh, this new awakening uh, of, of the gathering of, of, of your people, Father God. Father God, I ask you to uh, 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 to, to, to become a, a more of a foundation uh, for them to build off uh, of the season of the building and of the reigning, reigning Father God. Father God, I give them wisdom, knowledge and understanding of, of the things that you want them to do going into this next blessed season, Father God. Father God, now I ask you to just anoint their eyes and ears and mouth so they can hear and see and eat the word of God. Father God, we thank you so much, Father God. We love you. I mean, we adore you, Father God, for you are worthy to be praised in, the, in Jesus' mighty, beautiful, sweet, holy name. Amen. Amen. All right. So, in 9, in the Proverbs 9, uh, from, uh, from reading from 1 to 6, it, it speaks about uh, um, um, the house, building your house um, off of wisdom. Okay? Now, now, listen to this. It says, wisdom has built her house. That means the foundation of God. Okay? That, that's part of it. Okay? All right? So, so, the house is, they're talking into a spiritual aspect. The house is you. Okay? All right? And the things that the Father, like I stated before, is going to be building for you in the next season. She has set up its seven pillars. She has prepared. Oh. She has prepared her meat and mixing her wine. She has also set her table. Now, now you see what she's doing, right? All right, okay, all right. And, and at the same time, she's getting what instructions by the Father. She's using the Father's wisdom, okay? All right? Okay, she has also set her table. She has sent out her servants. She has called from the highest point of the city, let all who are simple come to my house. To those who have no sense, she says, come eat my food and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave those simple ways and you will live, walk in the in the way of insight. All right? Okay, so let's stop there. So, so, so this is wisdom. Amen? So, you know... God is it is it is granting uh, uh, her wisdom on, on how to uh, uh, prepare her house. Amen. All right, how to prepare her house? So because it says she prepare her, her prepare her meat and mix her wine, she has also set her tables. All right. Then she what she did? Then she sent out sent out her servants. Okay. Amen. All right. Okay. So all this what what she's doing? She is being monitored and prepared. By the wisdom of God. All right. Then, then in ten in Proverbs, because the topic on this in my book is um, imitation of wisdom. Okay. All right. So then it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now we already know that. Okay. All right. Okay. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. It's understanding. So wisdom and understanding, right? For through wisdom, your days will be many, and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. 
If you are a marker, you alone will suffer. So back and forth uh, between nine and ten, um, uh, um, it's going to be like a back and forth thing. Because, uh, you know, where the father is saying, you know, if you if if you do this good, then this is going to be rewarded. If you do this bad, then something bad is going to happen. And that's all about him giving you wisdom. Nevertheless, he, what he's trying to say is follow his instructions, follow his voice. Uh, keep his commands on your heart. Amen. Follow his ways. He'll make your path straight. Okay. Ask for wisdom. We need wisdom because, you know, it says if you are a wise, your wisdom will reward you. God will reward you. You know, Be wise about it. Know that it's not you that can make these decisions in this next season or in life in general. Whenever whenever you fully give your life to the Father, it, it, is, it is to the Father. Okay. All right. Amen. But my beloveds, okay, okay. So, and, and, and the biggest thing is uh, uh, um, where the Father is trying to take us into this next year. Um, it, it is to be wealthy, amen. It's to be wealthy, okay. He has now, He is now granting us access to wealth, amen. If you're gonna build and then reigning, wealth got to come. Amen. If you're going to be reigning over anything, wealth has to come. Amen. And then the type of wealth that the Father is showing me is, is compared to it's compared to Solomon. Amen. Letting me know that okay, the Father ain't he ain't trying to give us no chump change. He really wants to be wealthy. Amen. So we need to unlock these keys to your wealth. And the way we can unlock the keys to the wealth is, is going through the Father wisdom. I'm going to keep saying this because we got to get this. Amen. Y'all got to get y'all money. Say I want my money. <laughs> I want my wealth. All right. Amen. All right. I first want God's wisdom. I first want God. Because some of y'all, y'all, y'all trying to take my word and twist it up. But I, I first want Jehovah, the father. All right. But I want my wealth. Okay. All right. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get you to, to understand that it, to, to get it, you have to use the wisdom of God. To help you make lifelong decisions. Amen. Okay, so now, what would happen if you don't do it? It says, if you are a marker, you alone will suffer. If you choose not to follow the ways of the Lord, if you choose not to uh, to uh, to ask for wisdom, then you will suffer. You will suffer. This word of God is, 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 what, is what we need every day. The more you seek God, the more you seek the, uh, the, the word of God, the wisdom will come. Don't get lazy on me because nothing, because because God is not raising up no one hit wonders. No, he's not. I rebuke that spirit now in the name of Jesus. We, we are not no one hit wonders. No, we, we are not a popcorn generation. Amen. Even though I'm getting to sometimes I want God to move faster. Amen. But at the end of the day, I know if 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 I wait on the Lord, mm, if I wait on the Lord, I know that everything will be perfectly made for me and long lasting, everlasting, Woo, Jesus, eternal lasting for eternity. I'm t we are like Job. Mm, glory to God. Our latter years are going to be greater. I mean, our latter years are going to be greater than, than our former. Amen. We are like the Job. A lot of us are coming out of our Job experience. I know I am. Glory to God. We are like Job, my beloveds. And the time is now. And what happened when Job lost everything in one day? The father restored it back. Plus more. So the things that the father uh, has plans for you, you you're not going to be able to, to contain it. You can't even think about it. In, in, in your mind, you're thinking one way. Okay, yeah, I'm, yeah the Father's going to have this nice ministry. Yeah, I'm going to travel around the world. I'm going to have this radio station. Yeah, um, I'm going to be networking. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a TV show. I'm going to write this book. Uh, yeah, you know, whatever. You're, you're, you're thinking simple-minded. And, and it might not be simple-minded in, in, in the human mind, but, but God it is. Because whenever the Father unlocks that key, glory to God, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your mind because it's going to be so much greater. When I, and I feel the Holy Ghost me right now. It's going to be, be so much greater than what you have been thinking. 
Let's not minimize God. God, God wants to really bless you. We are coming out of this Job experience. Yes. Yes. He wants to bless you. And, 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 and I'm telling you right now, I know for a fact that there are people, and I know through the Spirit of God, that's what I'm saying, that there are people out there uh, that the Father has already talked to them about them being wealthy in an intimate conversation. So I know I'm talking sense because, I mean, I know I am. <laughs> There's a lot of you out there now viewing me that may not be walking in your wealth yet, but the Father has spoken to you about how wealthy you will be, you're going to become. Because of the anointing he has put on your life. And I'm here to unlock it. A lot of us are coming out of this Job experience. Amen. Alright, so now, now so then, uh, let, let, okay, now 13 says, Father is an unruly warm woman. She is simple and, and knows nothing. Okay, so to me, like right now, I'm hearing the word corrupt. That's a corrupt woman. That's a corrupt person that don't do not know anything. When you don't have God with you, you don't have this wisdom that I'm trying to impart into you. You don't have anything. I mean, you, I mean, uh, I'm hearing now that I mean, how can you be achievable? Amen. God, God is trying to get you, you know, to be at a place in Him where you can be comfortable. The Father is the source of all our needs. He's the source. And he is tired of just giving you just enough. Come on, somebody. Come on. I, hey, when I, when, I, when I say that, I mean as in that he wants to bless you more than you can handle. All right? Because you don't have elevated to another uh, level, elevated to another dimension, elevate, elevate to another um, uh, 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 um, realm. Amen? So he is tired of giving you just enough. Okay, when I say that, mean as in you know how your light bill do, let's say your light bill $115, okay? And, and that, now we, we thank God, regardless of what, Okay? All right, and then all of a sudden, I know where you know somebody else pays your bill or something miraculous happened, your bill get paid, but then after your bill get paid, you have nothing. No, he tired of that. He want to give you more than enough. He want to bless your life. But first, we have to what? Get the wisdom of how to get there. Glory to God. All right, so um, Proverbs 10. I'm going to read 3 to 5, and after that, I'm start bumping around. Uh, it says, the Lord does not let the righteous go hungry. We're not going to starve. We're going to be, we're gonna be e able to eat manna for days. You remember I told you that I, that I saw manna all in my house that day? I never saw manna in the Spirit of God before. We're going to be eating for days. For those that what? For those who will follow and take heed to the instructions. Glory to God. All right. Okay, but then it said, but the wicked. Okay, but the wicked will not. Amen. They will not. If 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 you wicked, and if you're not following the ways of the Father. <laughs> He's gonna leave you in the poverty. Even even if you are worldly rich, you still broke. Why? Because you're not walking with God. <laughs> See, a lot of rich people who don't have God in them, they don't they don't understand because they, they, they got all this money and stuff going on. But really they really they still broke. Because you can't take that stuff with you. What 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 purpose is to be rich if you're not helping God people out or you're not walking with God? So to me, you're still broke. Amen. And you're still living in, in poverty in the mind. Amen. All right. So if that makes sense to some of you, I hope it does. Um, but sometimes I can get a little, little deep and, and then people be like, what is she talking about? Okay. Um, and then five said, who, he who gathers crops in, in summer is a prodigal, I'm sorry, pro, 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 prodigal, I'm sorry, 
So, <laughs> but he who speaks doing harvest is a disgraceful son. What it says, we can't be lazy. What, 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 what does it say? It says, he who gathers crops in the summer. We got to work for this thing. We, we, we have to build. We have to be building. So we can receive. Amen. Now, if you're sleeping during the harvest, meaning doing, doing when it's working time, amen, the father is saying that it, it, it's, it's disgraceful. He who gathers crops in the summer. He who gathers crops. That's working. That's building. Working to have something. Amen. You got to know that you're going to have to do your part too. Even though the father's working in, in, in your favor, but you got leg work you got to do. Amen. And then it says in uh, uh, 8 through 9, it says, The wise in heart accept commands, but a chattering fool comes to ruin. Ruin. For those who are wise in the Lord, we know that we, we, that we accept the commands that the Father placed on us. We will accept the instructions. We will accept, accept I'm sorry, um, the, the, the ways of the Lord. Anything that the Father tells us to do, we know that we're going to do it. Amen. But for someone who, who's just a chattering fool, fool uh, 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 comes to ruins. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely. But whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. All this is wisdom. All this is, this is the father downloading into Solomon about wisdom. What not to do and what to do. What to avoid and what not to avoid. It's wisdom. Into making his life, what, longer and successful. Amen. Then let's skip down to 14. The wise store up knowledge, but the mouth of a fool invites ru um, ruin. We got to, you know, we, we, we cannot be foolish in this matter at all with the father. Amen. You are trying to build a kingdom for God. You are helping God to add on to his kingdom. This is big business. This is, I mean, this is big business. For this, for these are new remnant of a people that the Father is awakening now. We got some big business to take care of. Amen. Do, do you are y'all starting to feel how big this is? I mean, is it just me? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Come on. All right. This is this is this is big. Big business. And, and you're gonna need wisdom for it. You, you're gonna need a mind of God. You're gonna need a, you're gonna need God to tell you where to go and where not to go. You're gonna need God to tell you who to talk to and who not to talk to. You're gonna need God to, 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 to tell you uh, uh, um, um, how to um, um, arrange some, some, some things. You're gonna need God to tell you how to schedule, how to budget. This is big business. God is in the big, he's doing big business, big things for his people. And if you follow his instructions, it'll come to pass. Okay, because once again, we not no one hit wonders here. <laughs> I know I'm not. I'm not one hit wonder. I'm in it for the long haul. Amen. Glory be to God. All right, then it says, I'm sorry, my beloved, it's just, you know, sometimes. All right, then it says in 22, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth without paying for toll for it. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, my beloveds. And we're not going to feel no pain when it comes. If you what? If you follow God's wisdom, it will come easily. And, and 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 to be honest, at this moment, I see the father holding like gift bags, like big bags of treasure, uh, jewelry, you know, uh, just treasures, like in a big old sack with a big bow on it. We already know God has the world in his hands regardless of what. 
So that tells me that he's doing it for you. But you're going to have to do your part. Y'all need to be writing this stuff down. What is it? Fasting and praying. In this next season. All right. Networking. Doing your fundraiser. Amen. Picking out that building. Amen. Taking that old vision out that you probably haven't touched in a while for those who haven't done it. All right. Praying over that. Amen. Uh, either starting this new vision and making it plain. Amen. Hand out your flyers. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. Hand out your, hand out your flowers. I mean, I'm sorry, um, flyers. Amen. Talking to a, a news reporter. That's what I'm hearing. Amen. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 I'm talking to the people at the newspaper saying who, who actually can put stuff out on the newspaper. Amen. Amen. Getting your magazine together. Amen. You should be doing these things. This is uh, this is, is uh, the, the instructions by the Lord, by the Father. Amen. Because what the 22 says, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. All this I just called out, your instructions, it's going to bring you wealth through the wisdom of God. This is a word of knowledge I'm giving out through the wisdom of God. It's going to help you get to a comfortable place in your life. I know that I'm tired of checking my bank account to make sure I'm not, I'm not overspending. Come on, somebody. You know, I'm, I'm tired of looking at my bank account and, and, and swiping my card and, and thinking I don't overdraft. <laughs> Glory to God. Life was not set up that way for us. God want to bless your life. God is doing a new thing for his people. Three more scriptures, my beloved. 27 says, 10, 10 and 27 says, and I'm going to read 10 and 31 and 32. The fear of the Lord adds length to life. This is, see, he keeps saying that that's wisdom. To fear God is to know God. That's something he told me years ago. To fear me is to, 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 is to know me, and to fear me is to love me. Okay, the fear of the Lord adds length to your life. So not only will God uh, 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 bless you with wealth, he'll bless you with health. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing now. But he'll bless you with, with, with a longer life. Wisdom. H how do I get wealthy? How do I get blessed uh, with a longer life? How, how, how do I remain healthy? By following the word of God. By having God's wisdom. The Bible says if you seek him, he's there. If you seek the Father, he's there. If you knock, he shall answer. If you open your door, he'll come right on in. And if you do it faithfully, he'll stay there. Glory to God. Woo! I felt that one. If you do it faithfully, he'll stay there. God is in the business of, of dwelling with you. New remnant. The chosen people of God, glory carriers, God is in the business where he wants to stay there with you. He wants to dwell there. Whatever your heart, whatever your house is at, uh, we know that we are the house, but I'm talking about your ministry. Whatever that building is at, whatever that place that God's putting you at, he wants to dwell there with you. Seek, and he will answer. Glory to God. Ask. And you will receive. Knock. And he will come in. And if you do it faithfully, he'll stay there. Mm. Jesus. If you do this faithfully, Jehovah will stay there with you. Mm. Glory to God. Cool, Lord. The God of and, and, and 31 says, From the mouth of the righteousness comes... The fruit of wisdom. From the mouth of the righteousness come the fruit of wisdom. Glory be to God. And we know the fruit is the word of God. The word of God is the wisdom. I hope y'all follow me. I hope y'all follow me on this. Amen. And then it says, the lips of the righteousness know what finds favor. 
So the lips of the righteous just know what finds, finds favor. See, we don't know how to receive favor because of our wisdom. Because the wisdom that the Father has imparted in us. So we don't know how to find favor. We don't know how to find wealth. We don't know how to find uh, 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 um, uh, longevity of you know, uh, uh, life. We don't know how to find, uh, find how to unlock the keys to heaven, uh, unlock the keys to scriptures, I mean, unlock the keys to God's mysteries. Amen. I mean, I mean, we'll know so much about life. The father wants to give you a master key. That master key unlocks everything. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I I, I I told you once again before I get off here, I was I, I had no idea the father was taking me this direction about wealth. And, and the way that the father deals with me, or the Lord, you know, deals with me, amen. I mean, he, he doesn't tell me anything that, that's not about to happen. If I'm not already walking in it, it's about to happen. Amen. It's about to happen. And, 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 and he wants me to prepare you for your about to happen. If you take up time and follow the prophetess, next six months, I mean, even before then, you you should see you should be seeing the full manifestation of being wealthy. You know, you know, your uh, your um your uh I'm hearing as your assets expanding. Amen. Now, now that don't mean we get to be lazy. We're gonna have to work, but you know what I mean. Now you connect the dots before I get off here. Building, reign, then conquer. Seasonal. Building reign. I'm sorry. Next six. Well, I heard six months, but yeah, nine months, six months. Uh, yeah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with six months because I'm thinking six months was a whole nine months. So, but I'm gonna stick with what I hear. Okay, so building uh, reign, then conquer. Because now, once you're building, you're in a process to, to get to your wealth. And even though the Father throwing stuff at you in the process, when you're reigning, bam, you there. You 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 sitting on it. Then when you conquer, you really there. Mm. Glory be to God. Building, excuse me, reign, then conquering. Building, reign, conquer. Building, reign, conquer. Hmm. God is not doing the okie doke thing. God is ready to bless His people. And 2019 is going to be the year. So we must prepare for that. We, we, we have to uh, sharpen our discernment. We have to sharpen how we hear it, how we are hearing the voice of God. You got to be praying and fasting. You got to be blocking these dang on demons and devils that's going to try to take, take you out in the process. You got to be covering in your dreams. Cancel and, and, and cancel every dang on demonic dream out as soon as you awaken by the root. Okay, any covenant that you make, cancel it out, burn it back to hell. Amen. You got to be on top of things more so ever now because that wealth is about to drop. I don't share nothing with you that I don't hear in the spirit of God. Okay. Well, if you don't believe it, pray about me. He'll give you the answer. He'll tell you I'm a real one. Amen. All right, my beloveds. Well, I love you so much in, in the Lord. I, I, I pray. I'm praying that this uh, this wealth walk that we're gonna be doing together. To um, uh, I hope that it's gonna inspire you, get you um, uh, geared up and rigged up uh, um, to get this this ministry uh, that the Father has placed in you uh, to get it up and going and running. I'm telling you, there are some great things in two zero one nine next year. Uh, you know, I mean, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on. He's a 5779 in the Hebrew, however you want to say it. It's, it's going to be a great year for us. And I'm not, I'm not praying about that. I know what I see in the spirit. I know the numbers that the Father has shown me. And these are some big numbers that I haven't seen in the spirit, uh, you know, uh, 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 for myself and others. So God is really doing it. And I know if the Father is working through me, 
and, 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 and is blessing me, he's going to do the same thing for his real people too. Glory be to God. I put I had put on my testimonial uh, uh, page um, um, this morning. I'm going to say this too. I believe that the um, that the lost tribes that the, the God is going to find them next year. I mean, you know, we already know God knows, knows where they're at, but I truly feel like believe that the Father is also is going to be bringing the lost tribes back. Mm. Some some of these lost tribes that that you know that they're trying to find are going to appear. God is bringing us back to him. He's gathering his children. Amen. He spoke it to my spirit two days ago. You know, he, he was, he's told me, he said, you know, I'm, I, I'm looking for these lost tribes. Amen. And not for per se word like that, but he, he told me that he's bringing those lost tribes back in next year. So don't be surprised if, if you start to hear about these lost tribes being found. Because God is in that season where he's bringing his people back together. He's gathering his people. Glory be to God. Amen. Well, I love you, my beloveds, in the Lord so much, Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I mean, I, I'm praying uh, for your lives. I'm praying for your children's lives. I'm praying for the things that are, that, are, uh, that are attached to your life. Amen. I mean, I'm just praying that the Father is going to really do some great things uh, in your life. If you receive this, if you, re if you receive this message that I'm trying to get out here about unlocking the keys to, to, uh, to your wealth uh, through the wisdom of God, I mean, you know, and, and follow the instructions as far as the building, uh, you know, season, you cannot go wrong. You must follow these instructions. Amen. All right. I love you so much, then, Lord. Uh, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Remember to read Psalms 122, the whole entire chapter. Either either read Psalms 122, uh, verse uh, six, the peace uh, for uh, Jerusalem, um, um, Israel. Amen, amen. God bless you, my sweetheart, beloved. Shalom.